What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, Zeus. This is a software we've made uh, for creating uh, lightning kind of lightning looking uh, electricity effects for uh, photo manipulation. Uh, you can use it for your uh, photo manipulation artwork, uh, concept art, even uh, graphics design so it's really versatile and you can get some really cool looking results it's very customizable and uh, it's very easy to use so let's, let's dive right in so first thing you're gonna want to do is open our website I'll drop the link in the description but uh, you'll have a button in the banner for um, using the web version of the app is try it on the web and there's going to be this download button for downloading the desktop app that way you can use it offline but uh, the web version uh, should work on uh, certain browsers such as Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge uh, my choice of browser is Brave. It's a uh, open source and very fast, but um, I will not guarantee that it works on every single browser that you could think of. So, in that case, if you do happen to find that something's something doesn't look right or it just flat out isn't working, I would recommend downloading the uh, desktop app. It's, it's cross-platform. You can get it on Windows, uh, Linux, or Mac OS. All right, so I'm going to open the web app real quick so we can take a look at all of the options we have. So at the very top, you'll notice two buttons, uh, Export PNG and Export SVG, uh, both of which uh, will give you our lightning overlay with a transparent background. Uh, even though it has a transparent background in the export, the exported image, I would still recommend uh, when you pull it up in the editor, uh, change its blend mode to screen or something like that because it does make it look slightly better even though technically it's not necessary because of that transparent background. Uh, this SVG export, um, it does use some very like hyper modern SVG technology. Uh, might not be supported by all editors, but it will be supported by a lot of browsers. Uh, so you can an experiment with that if you'd like but this PNG export PNG is almost guaranteed to work well um, so right here we can see the preview of our electricity image uh, right now it's looking pretty good but you might want to change it to get it looking more like something that you'd want depending on uh, your usage so let's go ahead down here and take a look at some of the options we have so we'll just click a section to open it and then you'll see all of the uh, all of the options so first thing we're gonna look at is indent under dimensions this will just control kinda how long the the strike of electricity is uh, the higher it is the short the higher the indent the shorter the bolt it'll also rotate a little to fit the frame more keep it at some like a hundred thirty alright and now we can open twitch and this is probably the most interesting part 
Uh, we have noise type. Sure. There are two types of uh, algorithms that you can use to generate this twitch. There's Perlin noise and fractal noise, which will just give you slightly different looks uh, depending on what you're what you're going for. This one it's it's a little harder to understand, um, especially if you don't like program or anything. But you will notice the difference and. Uh, if you experiment with it, you'll be able to find uh, that you can change it to get a result that you like. A twitch amount is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the higher this number, the more it's going to be displaced. If it's zero, you'll see there's no twitch at all. It's just some straight lines then if you increase it you'll start seeing some bumps and whatnot go back to like 150 all right scale this is kind of inverted the lower the number for scale the kind of bigger all of the bumps and waves are and the higher the number the more frequent. I'll leave it at some like 0 0.06. So complexity, this is just uh, like how detailed those little bumps are. If you tune it up, beyond 5 it doesn't make a whole big difference, but if you lower it below 5, you'll notice that can start getting stuff that looks really smooth and uh, a little bit less electric uh, but you can still see that shape just it's just a little more abstract I'll raise it up quite a lot and seed this is is random seed so it just determines like a, a random variation you can just scroll through this number to see and uh, see if you can get a variation that you like of the effect. Alright, so branches, this is the stuff that comes off of the core of the electric strike. Um, amount, that's just the number of branches there are. Max length, that's the length of the longest branch. If you increase the number, all of the other branches will also change in length. And to control that, you use length delta. Basically, when I go to the next longest branch, uh, how less long is that? So if, you, if I increase it, you'll see that each branch is shorter than the last by a larger amount. And then there's angle. Uh, this just controls, as you might guess, the rotation. Like if you were to measure the angle uh, from the, the branch to the, the core, that would just be that angle. So if I decrease it, it's like more compact. The angles are more uh, like tighter to the core of the electric strike. So core, this just controls like the base shape. Uh, if you increase the size, um, it'll it'll look more thick and. Uh, you can mess around with the softness to uh, kind of soften it up. It'll add a box blur, so a pretty natural looking blur to it. And then you can change its color also. I would recommend if you don't want to keep it at white, 
uh, set it to a color that's very similar to the glow color but brighter and maybe less saturated so right now the the glow is a little bluish cyan so i would make the core a little cyan but very very light some like this and glow this is the last section uh, quite self-explanatory radius that's just the size of the glow uh, you can make the glow very small very tight you can make it big and spread out and color that's just color of course change it to some like orange then maybe I can make the core like a yellow color some like that so as you can see, there's a lot we can do with this. Um, a lot of options you can mess around with. It's not all that complicated, but we do have a lot of control over the look we get. So it's a very useful little piece of software. You can uh, make a lot of different kinds of effects with it. Uh, so the most obvious use of course would be lightning but you could also think of some other different kind of electricity related effects and even some it, if you're creative enough with it it doesn't even have to be electricity it can be like the the like spells from like harry potter the magic spells that he shoots out of his wand uh, it could I've even used this for lightsabers before so there are a lot of different kinds of things you can do with this so uh, yeah I hope you like this video I uh, hope you get a chance to check out Zeus it's a very cool piece of software uh, you I think you'll find it to be very useful and pretty fun